Hello everyone, and welcome back to Renowned Explorers International Society, The Emperor's Challenge. Uh, I just finished uploading a very long previous run. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. It was very fun for me. Uh, going full status is something that I've never really done before, so uh, I enjoyed it very much. But, uh, on to another one, shall we? How about another game of The Emperor's Challenge? And let's see, it looks like our challenge for, is it this week or this, this week? So this week's challenge is Devious Champion. Win as many encounters as possible with a devious attitude. And Discovery Spotter, gather as many discovery tokens as possible. Uh, what's our daily? Archaeologist team and research collector. Okay. Both of those are quite interesting. Yeah, very interesting. Okay. Well, looks like both of these will require a pretty decent scientist. And I have written down, so out, outside of recording, I went in and decided to, just out of curiosity, see which characters I have never won with as a captain. And so I've got a list here of the characters that I've never had as the captain and then won. And it's actually a very short list. It's only eight characters. Um, but, of course, four of those are the brand new characters, one of which I haven't even unlocked as a captain yet. So, these four, and then I have Kiwi, Hattis, Molly, and Earl. Earl, I should say. Uh, Kiwi, Hattis, Molly, and Earl. Um, so... None of those characters are very, very good at either research or discovery. Uh, Errol, Earl focuses on collect. Hattie's focuses on collect as well. Uh, Molly focuses on collect as well. And uh, Iwi focuses on supplies. So you can see that I don't do gold very often either, or I would have used some of those probably. Molly's especially looks really interesting to me. Three collect per level of rogue in your crew, and rogues and athletes gain an armor reduction aura. That seems really interesting. I will want to try that at some point. But for now, we're going to look at either research collection and archaeology or discovery and devious. And I think a good person for that is going to be Min Young. Min Young is not only a good devious character, she also starts as an archaeologist. Which seems like it could be very useful. Um, and her captain perk means that lobbyists, students, and merchants bought in entourage shops upgrade your discovery, which is which is nice. Uh, that's the Korean court bonus. So I think we could honestly have Min Young be the captain for either one of these. Devious Champion and Discovery. Obviously she works for that. She's going to be upgrading Discovery, which is great, and she is a Devious character. Or Archaeologist Team and Research Collector. She is an Archaeologist, uh, so that's great as well. Now I tend to not care as much for the team challenges because they require you to have uh, multiple archaeologists if you really want to max them out and I don't like leveling multiple archaeologists because it's wasted uh, it's, it's wasted however however um, research collector or collector challenges in general I really do like because they encourage me to play in a way I normally wouldn't uh, normally I try to strike a balance between all the different tokens that I am earning, and that's probably not the best way to play, especially not the best way to play the Emperor's Challenge. And uh, the Collector Challenge is just like the last game, which was the Status Collector, uh, forced me to specialize very, very heavily, and I find that very, very interesting. I like doing that. So I'm tempted to try this one, because it has one uh, goal that I'm not so fond of, maybe I need to learn how to deal with it better, and one goal that I really am very fond of. Or alternatively, we could do uh, as many encounters as possible devious, and then try to get some discovery tokens. But getting discovery tokens seems a little bit more random, I guess? I, obviously, you can get some from the uh, natural sciences tree in the tech tree. That will give you a discovery token every time you get a treasure, is it? Something like that. What well, we can look at it when we get in. I'm kind of tempted to do this one. Just because I do want to have Min Young as a captain, 
And Min Young's uh, particular captain bonus is very, very useful for Discovery Spotter as a challenge. So yeah, maybe we will do this one. This is our weekly quest. Okay. So, who do we want to bring with Min Young? Uh, so Min Young is relatively squishy. Uh, very, very strong attack, very, very strong speech. And she will suffice as our scientist. But if we're going for discovery, we should also bring along some other people who tend to win those types of challenges. So the people who tend to get discovery tokens on challenges, in my experience, are archaeologists, naturalists, and survivalists. As far as I can tell. Um, so... I wouldn't mind having some of those. A naturalist especially would be very, very nice. Uh, but they have to be good at devious. So, let's let's stick with Minyoung. And we do have Amelia. Now, Amelia is an archaeologist to start with, but she's also a naturalist. She can go devious. It's not her best thing in the world. That's my only problem. She, she doesn't really get... It says she's good at devious, but I don't really think that's true. Uh, her normal devious attack is a low hit chance, 80%, which for this game is very low, and 75% of her speech. And she doesn't ever learn another devious attack, which I don't like. So we will not go with Amelia. We could go with Anna. Anna, of course, is a rank two naturalist to start. She is, in fact, decent at Devious. She's not, she's not great. Her main AoE is not. But she gets a second AoE, uh, Strike of Fear, which is a line skill shot that stuns. And that's really nice. It comes a little late in the game, but it's a very, very nice skill. And she is a naturalist to start out with, which, which is awesome. So that's an option. Now, Min Young is also a diplomat. So we could try to get by without a diplomat. That is a possibility. And we could just try to grab a survivalist of some sort. That, that's uh, good at devious. Have Molly, who is rogue and athlete. And she gets a decent AoE, decent devious AoE. Anything else here? Uh, but she won't be able to use Flank and Shank very well. It claims Bajern Ho can go Devious. I don't think that's true. He has a Devious attack, yes. But party time is way too strong. <laughs> to uh, not just take him in a friendly group. He's a survivalist, though. Uh, Kiwi is a survivalist. And Kiwi does have a good Devious AoE. So that could be an option. What do we think about this crew? An all-girls team. Bin Young, Anna, and Kiwi. It's an interesting group, that's for sure. Let's take a look at their cards. Uh, oh yeah, this is the crew story where Kiwi wants to go running, and that conflicts with someone, typically. She gets extra collector study when she gets survivalist quick thinker or rogue spins. Okay. Uh, Anna tries to teach someone naturalist and engineer perks that Anna has. Uh, that's a very interesting one. It's really, really good for a naturalist uh, team challenge. One where you need as many naturalist levels as possible. This is really nice. But uh, it's not terrible. I'm just going to stroll through everyone else and just see if anyone jumps out at me as a good option. Charles could be decent. He does have two devious attacks that he learns, deride and group insult. He starts as a survivalist, and he is a diplomat, which is pretty awesome. Low speech, relatively, but that is an option. He's, he also starts relatively tanky. 22 speech defense and 22 in armor right off the bat is a lot. Uh, hmm. And a lot of spirit, too. 50 spirit. Wow. Charles could be interesting as opposed to Kiwi. Fulfill that survivalist role. 
And he would uh, start as Wilkmanville as a diplomat. If anyone else comes to... Yeah, you know what? Maybe we'll take Charles. Maybe. What is Charles's bonus? Charles gets a chance to send a letter to the Queen. What will her response be? Plus one treasure hunt whenever a level two diplomat spends insight in London. Okay. Interesting. We could do that. We are not... Oh, uh, we're not required to focus on study in this run. Not at all. We're just, we're just required to focus on discovery, which isn't the same thing. You know what? Let's give this this team a try. I'm very curious. I'm, I'm curious how this goes. Min Young, Anna, and Charles. We will start, however, with a Celtic Code start. We're going to continue to play on Classic. I like Classic. And Adventure Mode, of course. And we'll see what we can find. Alright, let's do this. There's our team. Very nice. I think uh, Min Young and Charles would get along very well together. They're both diplomats, they're both uh, noble society, although very different nations. But Anna doesn't really seem to fit, does she? <laughs> what is it? What's wrong with Anna already? Something's wrong with Anna already. We'll have to go see what that is. All right, we're ready for this challenge. Let's go ahead. We don't need this tutorial. Time for adventure. And there is our destination. Um, okay, what's wrong with Anna? Led by a child, okay. Yeah, she doesn't like that. Uh, her and Agatha are the two I've run into that really don't like that. I'm sure there are others, but uh, it just gives you minus one spirit. It's not too bad. Let's go ahead. The crew arrives at a quiet clearing in the forest while everyone takes a break. Charles notices that these clovers are different to the ones back in London. And we get a little bit of research. We will be very good at nature challenges with this team. Uh, naturalist and survivalist. No athlete, but that's okay. Suddenly, Min Young orders everyone to stop. This part of the forest looks different. Maybe someone used to live here hundreds of years ago? When the crew starts investigating, they find some broken Celtic pottery, and we get some study and some collect. Out of nowhere, a huge cliff stands before you. Such a geological rarity often holds some exceptional treasures. Now, this event typically requires a very good athlete, which we do not have. Uh, we could do a survivalist, though, and Charles is a level 1 survivalist, so maybe he can do it for us. Charles goes for it and starts climbing the cliff with limited gear, a very dangerous endeavor. Endeavor, sorry. What kind of treasure is he looking for? Um, I don't know. Let's... Let's think about this. Maybe some crystals. Let's try to find some crystals. That seems like a good, good choice. Looking for treasure here might be dangerous, but after a long search, he finally finds a real treasure worth taking home. 75% chance of the Sunstone, 13% chance each of the Ammonite or the Druid Quartz. And there's the Sunstone. 3 to 5 research from Discovery. That looks good. Or all scouts gain plus 10 speech. Unfortunately, we don't have any scouts, or that would be great. So yeah, we'll take 3 to 5 research from Discovery. This early, that's a good buff. The, druid turns, uh, the crew turns its attention back to the big prize on the island, the Druidic Circle. And we do get a discovery from that. Awesome, there's our first one. And there we go, three points already, right off the bat. Very nice. Bringing that survivalist early actually has already helped us. The crew finds an overgrown rock formation with some rare herbs, but Anna is more used, uh, interested in the useful minerals that might be in the rock, and she is obsessively curious, so we don't have a choice. Mining it is. Charles agrees, and the crew mines the whole rock, destroying the habitat. After fully mining it, some interesting and valuable minerals. I would like to go back here, because this might be our hidden hoard. And if it is, then we want a, a discovery from it. It is not. Okay, it's just an unknown fern, and we get some campaign. Well, that's unfortunate. I was really hoping that was going to be our hidden hoard. Uh, so let's go back to what we were doing. And we do have our campfire, so we should probably do that. Oh, only one of our character cards to start out with. All right. But we do have all crew members gain diplomat etiquette. That could be useful. We'll throw away the campaign and the encounter card. We don't care too much about that. 
And there's Bureaucrat Brawl. Min Young's orderly way is causing some friction within the crew. Gain 1-2 to two status from study every time Min Young succeeds on a Archaeologist or Diplomat Challenge. That seems amazing, and the earlier you get that, probably the better. So, I think we'll actually grab that, and we'll just keep this etiquette course. We do want that. To relax a bit on this crazy expedition, Charles cooks a meal for everyone. Min Young takes a small bite and sighs, a little displeased. What's wrong? It can't be my cooking. <laughs> because Charles is a cook. The meal is nice, but the plates and spoons are really ugly. Dinner should be a small party, you know. It's not the first time that Min Young wants something to be done in a specific way. So we have the option of saying, why does everything have to be done your way, princess? Or, Anna, who also prefers things to be orderly. She might be a bit annoying, but I like how she knows what she wants. Let's do that. Maybe Anna and Min Young can be friends. The more Anna thinks about it, the more respect she gains from Min Young. Too many people let others trample all over their principles and standards, but not her. Anna decides to hang out a little more with this strong-willed girl. Maybe they'll get along. All right, interesting. Already. Already very interesting. Okay, we'll see what happens with their relationship later on in the run. What an amazing place. The nature here has remained untouched for ages, and the forest cliffs hold some valuable ore. The crew could spend days here, but to really get a result, it needs to focus on one task. We could get some research, we get some valuables, or we could spend two supplies to get both. I don't want to spend two supplies here, I'm just going to take the research. And we're going to go try to get some supplies before we start taking debuffs. Nice, you found a grove of edible berries, vegetables, and clean water. Three supplies, very good. And our first encounter. A pack of hungry wolves is following you. One way to get out of this, let's defend ourselves. Okay. We do get an extra token for solving this aggressively, but uh, we are interested in the devious champion quest, and we don't want to do that. We want to solve this deviously. Okay. Who can get into range here? Gotta, gotta get familiar with everyone's ranges. Oh, wow, Min Young has a huge range on that attack. Okay. Now, we do have Painbringer, 35 attack damage, so we might want to consider doing that early. Um just to try to get that quest. And then we'll go through Devious as soon as we can. Ah, uh, only 20 damage. So we're probably not going to be able to do that, in fact. Uh, because I believe Anna has... Yeah, Charles has a slightly stronger attack power, but Anna's pretty strong, and she could not one-shot that wolf. So I don't think we're going to be able to get Painbringer. That is okay. You want to make sure we get back into a devious mood, so that we're just going to use devious attacks from now on and not worry about Painbringer too much. It's only one point. Oh, nice. Apparently, these wolves are vulnerable to terrify. And Anna is very terrifying, especially when she laughs like that. And one more devious move, and hopefully, that will give us some devious combat overall. Ravelo gets his one point from Painbringer, but we get our first devious encounter. Awesome. Threat averted, these wolves won't bother you anymore. Stories like this will do well at the Renowned Explorers. Oh, we have a uh, interesting encounter down here. Diplomat Archaeologist, we have both of those. The crew finds ancient Celtic holy grounds. A very interesting find, as there isn't much known about ancient Celtic mythology yet. Definitely worth investigating. There are runes with rituals described to honor Hernuus, the horned god. Those who fail to perform the ritual properly will be cursed with bad luck. Min Young thinks you might learn even more by performing the ritual, and she has a 90% chance, so let's give it to her. Not only that, she should get a bonus here if she manages because of her campfire story. I think, if I understood that correctly. While performing the ritual, Min Young suddenly has an idea of how the Celtic pantheon was structured. With this newfound insight, she also gained an interest in legends. She vows to read more mythology and gains archaeologist legends. Okay. Very nice. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know if that, how that works or not. I'll have to look for her campfire story to come into effect while we're traveling around. Right now, we do get uh, four to six research from a study. Not bad. I think that one to two extra status is from her campfire story, though. So that that is helping. Okay. Let's level up Minyoung. Do we want a Diplomat Etiquette or Archaeologist Legends? Well, 
<laughs> That's really unfortunate because Archaeologist Legends we just learned for free and Diplomat Etiquette we will get for free from that campfire story we saved. Uh, so that's really awkward, but we will take the Diplomat Etiquette, and the reason for that is because if Minyong already has it, I may not be willing to spend a campfire story to give it to every member of our team. I may just have Charles learn it on his own, and then Minyong will learn it on her own as well. So that, I think that's the way to go. Minyong also gets cute stare at this level. That's a friendly attack, silences all targets for one turn if one of the targets is excited and gains power while off cooldown. Okay. Interesting. Let's go get some more study. Min Young slips and falls and goes tumbling down before landing bottom first on a rotten trunk, breaking it in two. Charles notices that the rotten trunk has some interesting mold samples. Charles mockingly thanks Min Young for the rear search. Very nice. Very nice, Charles. And let's go for an encounter. And there is probably our hidden horde. We'll want to do that as well. A group of wolves being protective and territorial. They're going to attack us. And we will defend ourselves by shouting insults at them. <laughs> the only way to defend ourselves. We do have a motion spreader for getting people impressed. And um, we only have one impressed move. We could try for it. But we would definitely risk not ending the encounter deviously, which uh, I'm worried about. Okay. I can give it a try, though. Uh, hmm. We'll set this wolf to impress. And then we'll see if we can come down and finish this wolf off with that same attack later. And, uh, maybe we can get both? Now, this did have the downside of leaving every wolf alive. Uh, hopefully that's not going to come back and bite me. Doesn't look like it. And it's decently tanky. Okay, good. Everyone took that damage very, very easily. And hopefully, this hits, and also hopefully, yes, it will make him impressed if it hits. So that would give us the... Yep, there we go. That should give us the point. And now we really need to switch back to Devious, because uh, we, are, we are not in a Devious mode anymore, and we definitely want to end this encounter Deviously. It's going to be close. There we go. Very confused wolf. Poor wolf. Looks like we did get the devious. That's nice. So we got both. Awesome. The best way to beat such animals is by showing them who's boss. The wolves become intimidated by your presence and they flee. The fleeing wolves are followed by crying pups that make it away safely. That's nice. And someone takes a debuff and loses some attack power. No big deal. Let's level Anna and Charles. And I'm going to level Anna as a naturalist. So we'll give her classical physics. And Charles, we definitely want to level as a survivalist. Now there's diplomat etiquette, so we could also just give him that and not worry about the campfire story. And that is an option. And survivalist tracking is an easy one to get. So you know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to give him etiquette. And we will give him survivalist tracking uh, with an item later on. Okay. Here's our hidden horde. Let's go grab that. That's important to us. And we do want the discovery. Uh, Ming Yong, you lose some grit. Okay. That should be fine. She shouldn't have had much grit. Nope, she didn't. One more nature challenge. And then we will end this run. Sometimes you find a natural phenomenon that is worth researching. However, if you approach it incorrectly, your data might be useless. However, Anna is awesome, so she has a 100% chance to get the right conclusion and get some extra study. Uh, Anna loses some speech defense. That might be a little important. We'll see. And go to our last area. Onwards. The crew vigorously searches through the dense forest, and we find the Standing Stone Circle. However, we hear familiar laughter, and it is Rivalo, of course, who is your direct rival for the Emperor's Blessing. He got here just before you did. 
And Revelo is going to send Edmir to talk to us while he steals the um, in here. What is your problem, my friend? Goodness me, there is no need to yell. Now, Emir is a devious crew member, and we are devious, so this will be a battle of wits. And if we are devious, Emir admires your sharpness. Very nice. We do have a mood switcher buff here. Uh, switch moods four times to get a point. I'm not going to worry about that. For one point, it's not worth it to risk losing any renown. Or any resolve, I should say. Let's instead... Back up and try to take care of this group back here, and uh, hope they gather up in a nice way for some of our new AoEs that we've got. Uh, Min Young can't quite get into range, doesn't look like. Nope. She can't quite get into range for any of her attacks, alright. And uh, Anna's not going to be able to either. So that is unfortunate, but we'll give Min Young a increase in her speech. Or should we give it to Charles? Let's give it to Charles, because he has a devious AoE that we'd like to use next turn. There we go. Wow, Amir still got into range. That surprises me. Okay, uh, good thing is that Charles did stay excited, despite taking a hit there. Anna is getting a little low. So there's our AoE for Charles. It looks decent. Unfortunately, it's not quite enough to take anyone out, which is disappointing. But it's a good start. Would I rather start with Nin Young here? Let's step Anna back. She's uh, in danger. We don't like that. Well, well, let's take out with Minyoung first. Okay, Minyoung's cute stare does a lot of damage. Look at that. It's insane. Um, so maybe... I think this might be our way out of here. So we're going to do our, the aggressive AoE from Anna. <laughs> I should not switch this over to aggressive because uh, we didn't kill anyone. And then we'll bring Charles in and use our AoE. There we go. And now, Min Young, what can you do? You can silence all targets if one of them is excited, but none of them are. Look at that damage. Holy crap. That's so much damage. Why is that so powerful? 5% uh, power off turn off cooldown, but it has plus 30% power right now. I'm not sure why it has plus 30% power, but that makes it very, very strong. I'm tempted to use it just on a mirror, just to, you know, hurt him. Although, I guess her normal attack is almost as much, doesn't it? Okay. Or we could heal. Which might be smart. Just to avoid losing a resolve. But yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. Let's heal. Um, Anna's also saddened right now, which I'm not thrilled about. That decreases her speech power. And hopefully everyone survives this turn, though. Very nice. Charles is pretty, uh, pretty armored up. Well, and speech defense, speech defense stuff, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Now we could take out two here, probably, if we wanted to. Yeah. But that will switch our stance. That's probably not the end of the world. Let's go ahead and do it. It did not switch our stance. Alright, excellent. That's even better. And what else do we want to do? We could probably just finish off Amir this turn if we get a good hit on him. So let's just try for that. Yeah, oh, 111% chance of hitting? That seems good. There we go. Not bad. So I think healing Nina was the right choice there, even though she didn't get attacked. Uh, it was just the safer way to go. And three out of four for Devious Champion. We do have to worry about finishing that before Rivalo does. He's only one token away. Good job, my friend. You are sharp as a knife. Those who know how to hurt with words are truly mighty. I'd like to pay tribute to you with some research papers. Good luck. All right, we got to study. All crewers gain per speech permanently increased by one. All right. 
but a hooded figure appears on the scene. Amazing! I saw how you handled that encounter just now. Defeating a foe with insults and manipulation is a remarkable skill. I am honored that someone like you is looking for our history. Allow me to help you. Tell me, what is the dream you chase? And in this case, since we're looking for a discovery, uh, our dream is to... make an amazing contribution to the sciences. I think that is the right choice. Science, a noble cause for sure. Let's see if we can get the 75% chance of the sea sapphire. That's what we'd like. And there it is. Plus one study at the end of each expedition for each level of engineer. Plus one study for each level of naturalist. Plus one to three gold from collect or just five study. We do have a level three naturalist already. So that's already worth three study. And uh, we'll just increase for each expedition. So I think that is the way to go. Plus Anna's campfire card, when we get that, will teach additional levels of naturalist to someone else in the crew. So uh, that will just get even better. Very nice. It's clear that if you want to receive the Emperor's Blessing, you will have to beat Rivalo. Now it's personal. Let's go meet the Emperor. There we go. Nice uh, items here. Okay. And we got our three study for each level of Naturalist. Okay, not bad. 194 research to start off with. Not too shabby. And we're welcomed by the Emperor's advisor. We will decline to go to the ceremony. We know what's going on already. And we'll take our membership for plus two supplies. Awesome. Okay, and that's where we're going to end for now. Thank you very much for watching. Decent start. We'll see how it goes. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video. If you would like to see more in the future, subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and I will see you next time.